just want to show you three slides on, um, on some resources that you might be able to use. We, we just launched the new version of our, our Forage website at the University of Kentucky, probably one of the best Forage websites in the country. And um, it's now mobile friendly, so you can look at it on your phone and it'll, it'll look good, and, or your iPad. And um, we just launched it yesterday, uh, was the first day. So that's available to you. Uh, another great resource, we're recording the presentations today, we're going to post them on this website, which is KY Forge's YouTube channel. It, I'd encourage you to subscribe to this. When you subscribe, whenever we post a new video, you'll get a little note that says there's a new video available on this website. Um, I would encourage you to look at, at this video. This was from the American Forage and Grassland Council Conference. It's a recording of this presentation. There's a special contest called the Forage Spokesperson Contest. It's where farmers get up and they take 15 minutes and talk about their farm. And, um, and that's the highlight of the American Forage and Grassland Conference. This guy was named Teddy Hughes from Georgia. He was a winner this year of the Forage Spokesperson Contest. And he talked about how he healed his farm Georgia with grass and grazing management. Really inspiring story. And, and if you have 15 or 20 minutes, take it and watch this. You, you won't be sorry, I promise you. Um, we've got hundreds of videos on this YouTube channel related to grazing management, so, so take the time and take a look at that. Variety testing program in Kentucky. Most extensive variety testing program in the United States. We harvested over 5,000 plots of different varieties of forages, and that's all available online, all this information. It can be overwhelming. There's so many variety testing reports on there, but there's one that you need to focus on, and that's the long-term summary of Kentucky Forage Variety Trials. It's updated each year and gives you a long-term summary of um, how varieties did over multiple years. Last thing I'll mention on the, on the uh, UK Forages website is up in the left-hand corner is, is something called the Forage News. And you can subscribe to this, and every month at the beginning of the month, there'll be a newsletter that's published. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll get a note with the newsletter attached to it. And uh, this is a great source of, inform of timely information related to forages. If you're working for an agency or writing a newsletter, you're always welcome to use these articles in your newsletter. And I'm going to end there. <laughs>